everybody. It's your boy Garden Sound back with another how to make video. This is part two of two of my res series. Uh, I'm not going to be doing any more res tracks after this. I feel like I've covered the bases before we get started. This was given to me, this idea, um, by one of my friends named Cake Mix. If you'd like to check out their music, I've linked that in the description down below. Shout out to them. Don't forget to support some OG creators. We've also got a correction to make. In a moment, you're about to see some highlights from my Twitch stream where I went over how to make this live. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. Link below. I do stream the how to make process these days on Twitch. I have a correction to make the hypnosis track, the actual like voice that you hear in Rez's song, Relax. I said it was probably a professional vocalist. I was incorrect. This is actually something that you can download from YouTube. So I've done that and I will go over how that's made once I get into the overview section. I do give away this project file that you're about to view on my Patreon page along with the stems. When you download the project file, it looks just like this. It says Res Relax for Patreon, and you have the ALP, which is for Ableton. You can download and install that project file. And also, if you're not an Ableton user, I always, always, always include the stems. So you can take those and maybe work on a remix or something like that. If you're looking for that sort of fodder, I've got you here. It's only $2 a month. Consider subscribing because I always get copyright slammed on these videos. Even though this is absolutely fair use for the purposes of education, um, <laughs> YouTube doesn't seem to care about that. As always, leave me a comment down below and let me know what the next how to make should be and maybe I'll consider your submission. Without further delay, let's jump straight into some highlights from my Twitch stream. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is figure out what tempo this is. The last Rez song was at 100, so I'm curious to see whether or not this is the same. Um, I'll bet you money it probably is. Ah, oh, she's throwing me for a loop. Let's try 90, just another whole number. Slower than that. Let's try 85. Yep, it's 85. Okay. Let's see if we can get it more on the grid. I might have uh, kind of effed up the start point here. Do, do, do. What is it about MIDI keys and using arrows on keyboard to draw notes in piano? Well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Let's see what exactly is similar. There's no moon baton loop. Um, the kick is pretty similar. All right, so I will have to redo the snares, which will be not a problem. Uh, there's no metallic shiz, like in the last one. Um, there's no tom rolls. Cool, so I guess I just saved myself, uh, like, two seconds of work. <laughs> you know what I could put on this snare to make it even more convincing is the fucking vocoder trick. I don't know, do you guys know about this? Um, if you put a vocoder on a snare, for instance, check this out. So this snare right here, it kind of sounds like a clap. It's just a snare with all the low end cut out. Take the vocoder and we can, uh, we can use the noise oscillator. Uh, we'll do, let's do the retro try. Yeah, we'll try the retro. Um, they give like 24 bands. Anyway. Yeah, retro immediately sounded like garbage. See, there's no noise, and here's like more noise. It's more apparent if you take the EQ off. Add a little bit of noise to your, I don't know, it's kind of cool. I don't like this kick. <laughs> yep. Much better. Thanks, Cymatics. It's only a matter of time until Cymatics starts to copyright claim everything with their kicks in them. Mark, mark my words, boys. That is the next step in the copyright claiming adventure. Oh, you used the sample of our guy going, eh. Thanks for the monetization. We'll be taking the money for that, eh. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. If I can hold on a second. Hold on just a goddamn minute here. Um... Oh yeah, no, you're right. You're right. That that's step one, dude. <laughs> step one is uh is fucking the companies that do the third party monetization and copyright claiming for musical artists claiming other people's content that use the same samples. And step two is that actual sample company going after them. I mean, you know, it could be interesting. Like there could be a real interesting legal battle going on here if that starts to happen. But it's going to start happening. You watch. Jesus, you don't know night mode. All right, well, how do I do night mode then, motherfuckers? <laughs> Tip for streaming. Uh, don't be abusive to uh, 
the people that are in the chat. I'm Chris Hansen. This guy doesn't know night mode. Well, then how do you do night mode? Go to the settings in your profile. Yeah, well, I'm not doing that right now. All right. <laughs> how do I do night mode? Doesn't do night mode. Is it really that easy? Oh. Oh. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> oh god, time for sound design. Yeah, everybody knows this is the this is the part where I shine. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm just doing this for fun at this point, and people seem to like that, so I'm I'm cool with that. It actually sounds pretty close by itself, like <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to have to automate it. <laughs> I can't get the LFO to work right. All right, remove all destinations and post. You know, like uh, internet comment guy, the best guy. What is everybody watching these days? I just started uh, watching um, Cowboy Bebop. I'm on episode 10. And I also started watching Darling in the Franks, which I've never seen all the way through. And I've got to say, I am really enjoying that one. All right, so for this, we need to automate this, which means I need to go do, and then hi -ya, and then hi -ya. Boom. Psychopaths. <laughs> all right. It goes, whoa, so it goes on and off. That's already sounding more similar. Attack on Titan Season 3. Yo, so the last Attack on Titan I saw, Aaron was able to sort of control the other Titans. How far along am I there? That was like the end of the season, I think. <clears throat> yeah, no, that Season 2 was dope, dude. politics of the wall uh man i hate it when they do that like that's the part of um fucking uh that's part of like sword art online i didn't like too has anybody watched um the the new sword art online season is it any good <laughs> no <laughs> it's not good oh man that's one of my favorites of all time though but it's but I like it. I don't care. So all right. So do you think Sword Art Online? Lila thinks this is great. Do you think Sword Art Online in general is good? <laughs> well, there you go. So if you guys don't think it's good at all, then I'll probably enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 come on, man. I love the same thing over and over again. I'm as an obsessive person doing the same thing over and over again is my bread and fucking butter. <laughs> That makes me very comfortable with life. It's my favorite. Wait, hold on. So let me ungroup this because it is not a composite. That theory was incorrect. Oh, I grouped it again? Great. Good job, Gardner. Wait, hold on. Just kind of control G to ungroup. The no, fuck. How about I group in a group? Perfect. There we go. That'll be great. <laughs> Try control shift G. Okay. All right. Some awesome. Good idea. Oh, that ungroups things. Ha. Dope. Thank you. Man, Twitch streams are the best. Shout out to everybody on YouTube who isn't in here. Come on, guys. <laughs> it's got a little bit of bit crush on it and a little bit of um, high pass and a little bit of like white noise. So what we're going to do in this order is bit crush it uh, with Redux. <laughs> which someone told me it's like supposed to be pronounced Reduce or something, which I understand, but it's spelled Redux. Look at it. Red, red ux, red ux. It's a user interface designed by red. I promise I won't blast you this time. It's actually a pretty dope sub. Can we turn this into a sub? What does that even look like? Hold on a second. What does that, what does that wave even look like? I'm fucking around now, like.
Well, I want to resample it to see if I can fuck with it harder. If I put it in Spectrum, I just, you know, that's all I can do is see it. Now I can actually mess with it. Do -do -do. Will it Neurobase, the new segment. Right, we're going to turn this way down. We're going to go ahead and stick a safety limiter. <laughs> You're welcome. Cool. And then a limiter. And then this again. And then the Nachi Boy. And then this again. <laughs> like this. I'm I know I know this is like way distracting, I'm sorry. Alright, alright. Well what just what just one more. Just 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 one more. Just we'll just you know just take this and we'll just one more time. And then <laughs> Okay, and, and then just just one more. Okay, turn it down first, Gardner. Turn it down. And now it's a nice little 808. <laughs> Trying to construct 808 bass drums from pure noise. Cool. All right, where were we? <laughs> okay, so here we are in the full final project file after doing all the editing and making sure that everything um, is, uh, you know, tidied up and, and, and lined out and, uh, you know, laid out how it should be in the actual track. There are a couple of exceptions, things I did not include. There were some breath samples and a couple of like shutter sounds that I decided just not to mess with um, because I didn't feel like they added any sort of like lesson or teaching material. So we're just going to go through the entire track top to bottom starting with the drums. This is going to be your typical low dynamic range kind of like, uh, you know, Carpenter Brute sort of sound. Um, sounds like this. A lot of high passing going on. Um, there's lots of high end and all the sounds on this particular track and not a whole lot of low and mid like we heard in the previous res track. Um, so let's check out the shaker. This is actually pretty interesting. So this is several resamples and layers of resamples deep um, into making this particular shaker noise. It's a shaker like an egg shaker, but it's been pitched up and down. So you get this sort of effect here. It's pretty neat. In context, it's actually very kind of like swingy and off the beat. The 808 makes another appearance in this track, just like the last one. And guys, if you haven't seen the last video, that'll be linked below as well. Um, so this is, you know, our typical 808 that we get from Rez. In the intro, and then here, uh, we have a, you know, nice hard big beat type of thing. And then she makes a dry wet and feedback sweep on this using a simple delay so that we get some nice dovetailing into the chorus. It sounds like this. And then, of course, the obligatory giant drop clap that we get here. Just a massive clap along with six seconds and OTT. You will absolutely need OTT and serum in order to make this particular project work correctly. Let's uh, co collapse these drums. Really nothing else interesting to talk about there. I lied. Um, there is something interesting to talk about here. <laughs> She uses ratchets, uh, ratchet hats, like you'd expect from a virtual self-track. Like, listen to this. In context, it sounds pretty freaking cool. So here's the drums at that point. Yeah. Cool stuff. And again, we're combining that with our ride cymbal. Um, not using the 808 one. This one's a little bit more tinkly, a little bit more twangy. It's got that bell, that nice dome bell sort of sound. Um, that is the particular sort of ride we're using on this track. All right, let's move down the list to the res bass. So I have flattened this one just in case you don't have Pro MB. My phone is ringing and that's making me annoyed. I don't know who that is. Goodbye. Just in case you don't have Pro MB, I have frozen this track. Uh, but let's take a look at the actual MIDI and what's going on here. This is a serum patch that is using 
two different square waves, uh, one of which is a unison of two and a sub oscillator, an octave down triangle wave with a filter. And this filter is being driven not by an LFO, not by an envelope, but by automation. So check this out. That wow is coming from the cutoff here on this low 24. Also, making another appearance is our down sample. That really high pitched sort of whine noise that she puts on her bass comes from the down sample on the distortion in Serum. I've added a little bit of multi brand compression just to bring things up. And then I've also added Pro MB uh, to expand the bass, make it a little bit more wider. Um, and that is what's going on here with this bass patch. That was by far the most tedious and time consuming part of this composition. Um, but once I had it under my fingers, I was like, okay, this makes a lot of sense. It, in a way, it mimics the bass that we heard in the last res video too. Um, there is an intro sub, if you listen to the very beginning of this song. And I was gonna just make this out of a straight up like saw wave or something using a synthesizer, but I thought it would be a lot more fun um, to use a timpani sound. So this is actually a timpani sample that's just been low pass. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was just ha I was just having some fun. We've also got this hypnosis track here. Now I can't remember who this guy's name is, but um, what we've got is vocals and I'll, I'll kind of back it down the chain so you can hear what's going on here let's turn off the little altar boy let's turn off the cheesy speaker preset ott drums room and just listen to the actual track as it is just take a nice breath in exhale that breath just allow yourself now to relax cool so if you take away the editing and sort of stretching this out what we've got is a warped sample on Pro form an envelope all the way up so you get that sort of artifacty kind of shimmer on the top of things. It's a very Ableton-esque sound, but it's necessary because we're going to exacerbate that with a little bit of reverb and OTT. Just take a nice breath in. So you can get that code sort of on top of things. That's the artifacting. And then what we're going to do is chop out all the low end. Just take a nice breath in. Then what we're going to do is add little Alter Boy, which is a Sound Toys plugin that allows you to shift fritch, shift the fritch, shift the fritch and pourment, <laughs> shift the pitch and formant, <laughs> and that also sounds like this. Just take a nice breath in. There you go. You could probably do this with another Ableton plugin, but I didn't have one at my disposal that I was comfortable with doing, so I decided to use little Alter Boy. As such, I have frozen the track, and here's what it sounds like all together. Just take a nice breath in. Cool. Then we get into Rez's just meticulous effects. Um, God, I don't know what to call it, but the majority of her tracks are these little chops and samples and effects, and I feel like this is pretty common for techno and mid-tempo stuff. Um, so this wasn't... I don't, I don't shine when it comes to this type of stuff, um, but I was able to do some things justice. Uh, like, for instance, this little uh, res chop where she chops up relax. These are pretty, pretty, uh, pretty fun to do. Yeah, those are just chops editing. Um, I had the formant filter in order to get this to sound correct on the stutter. So check this out. And a little bit of dimension expansion. We turn that off and we turn off OTT back together there you go um then there was like a slidey kind of sound um this this thing is hard to replicate again i wish i had the actual samples that's the best i had on that um then we had this uh, white noise thing that's sort of a band past white noise just slowly going down the frequency spectrum with that nothing big there um we've got Let's see here. A hospital noise. Oh, this was fun. And a wobbly effect. So there's this wobbly sort of like woo 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 thing going on. Uh, you can you can you can sample that if you'd like. Anyway, um, it sounds like this. And all that is is a sine wave with an LFO affecting the um, semitone up and down. That's all that is. 
and we've got a compressor um, tied to a side chain at the top of this track that is ducking it on the on the on the one, two, and four. One, two, three, and four. Excuse me. Three. And then this sound was fun to make. This is a hospital noise, like the uh, heartbeat monitor. What is it called? The EKG, the EEG, something like that. Yeah, that one was fun to make. It's operator with quite a bit of white noise. Um, and then a filter that sort of slides down the frequency spectrum. There's a hard cutoff on top of it um, at 1.56, 59, excuse me, kilohertz. Yeah, that was a that was a fun bit of sound design right there. I had a good time making that. And then there's this sort of moon baton weeper. You know, it's like weep, 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 weep. So this thing right here is just a piece of modular noise that I stole from a different song that I made. Every once in a while, she does stutter it too, so it sounds like this. Um, again, I have flattened this one just in case you don't have Saturn. I did use Saturn from Fab Filter in order to make that sound. Um, so we have a flat of that if you don't have it. So. And that's basically the entire track. Um, it's not too dense, but it's effective. Again, I think Rez's skill set is effective composition and form, not necessarily sound design and mind-blowing, you know, um, audio tricks. So this isn't the kind of thing that you'd expect Tipper to make, but it isn't also the kind of thing that you would expect Dead Mouse to make. It's the kind of thing that Rez makes. It's very unique. So after these two episodes are done, I have a newfound respect for this artist. Um, and I think everybody else should, too. I think it's fucking pretty dope. So anyway, um, as I said before, if you'd like to download this project file, it's available on my Patreon page. And if you'd like to suggest a video for how to make in the future, uh, make sure you do that in the comment section down below. But as always, my name is Garden Sound. I appreciate you watching this. Um, have a nice day. <laughs>